Greetings folks, this intriguing collection of foam is the Finwing Alba Bird. There we go, got some nice stickers. So Finwing is an interesting company, they make planes that are designed to be workhorses and they're always designed to be packed down into a suitcase and carried to the field. Let's have a look at it, it's a twin motor 1100mm wingspan, uh, sort of decent wing area kind of a, a, a compact chunky but uh, good weight carrying FPV plane I think. There are a few different options that comes with uh, plug-in wing connectors that, in, that will uh, connect the ESCs and the whatever you have in the wing into the fuselage. It has a, the option of a de detachable fuselage or tail area and it's sort of held together by uh, nylon bolts uh, and and I think the only thing we have to glue on is the vertical stabiliser and and glue the fuselage together. Mine came crunched up a bit in transit, unfortunately, just the nose there, but that's no big drama. That'll straighten out when I glue it together. But uh, this should be really interesting. They supplied me with some motors. They are Sunny Sky, specifically made for Finwing. Sunny Sky uh, 227 1300 kV motors. And we have 8 by 4.5 props. There are slots for carbon strips. We have spaces for video transmitter and radio control transmitter. Uh, ESC wires running through here. Here's the battery hatch canopy. You see we've got a, a screw in nylon nut there. Uh, and a hook under there to attach it under the front. We've got a, the option to mount FPV gear up on there or make it aerodynamic by putting that top on there. We have industrial strength metal control horns. Not too heavy, but uh, yeah, they'll be super strong. <laughs> and control horns, screws, uh, plywood plates and things like that. All right, has carbon tube spars already in the wings and sort of a joiner spar in the middle there that the wings slot into.
The Finwing Elberbird is all together and ready to fly, but you might be able to hear in the background it's raining and windy, unfortunately. It was a very enjoyable build, really easy, I found. Uh, it's really nicely designed. Look at the size of that wing cord. That's a nine and a half inch wing cord. Compare that to uh, the Sonic Model Binary, which is, uh, what, six and three quarters, I think, not even seven inches. 24 centimetres compared to about 17 centimetres on the binary. Lots of wing area. So this will be a nice slow flyer, really slow stall speed, I would imagine. Heaps and heaps of space inside. I have uh, 3004 ish in the nose there. That balances it perfectly on the CG marks. I think it's going to be maybe overpowered on 4S with these props. There seems to be heaps and heaps of thrust. I'll do some current tests when it's in the air, but I'm suspecting we'll be flying on a quarter throttle or a third throttle. Uh, but we will see. I really like the way it's designed. It's just simple, unpretentious, easy to put together. Uh, we've got sort of overkill for strength. Oh, and uh, make sure you check the bottom of the box for these carbon strips too. I found mine taped to the bottom of the box. The stickers are really good too because you can fold them over the leading edge for protection on the uh, tail and the wing. At the moment I'm not actually using the wing connectors uh, because I don't really need to take the wing off to transport it. I've got a big enough car so I just have my wires running through there. If you wanted a a serious plane that uh, you could break down into a, a small suitcase or something then it would be great to install the wing connectors shorten all the wires and make it all nice and neat so i'm really looking forward to the maiden flight which will come as soon as the weather allows me i think what i'll really want to do is put an fpv camera up on the tail here and fly uh, with the plane in the view that's the sort of view i really like for fpv so maiden video coming up soon thanks for watching